Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And earlier today, I I did a different guitar and he actually used a different font. And somebody emailed me and said, well, how would you make it work with the envelope to make it look the best? And here's a few tricks when you're doing something like this. Set your nudge factor on just a little bit bigger than your item. And we're gonna get the two point line and we're gonna close off this neck. So that way when we fill it in, that will, it's gonna be our envelope shape. Left click, right click. But to even make it better, go up to effects and contour. Contour to the inside just like 0 0.01. I did it just a little bit. Go to object, break contour apart. If you select the inside, it should move the smaller one over and you can always see this is 0.94, this one's 0.96. So this is the little bit smaller one. Now we can take our guitar word and have the envelope open, which is underneath effects and envelope. Grab, create an envelope form, and you've already got this selected and go to your envelope and hit guitar. Now, in a video earlier today, how do you move that in there? Well, with the name selected first, shift select the object and go CE, and then move it over. But we actually want to take away that exterior line so we're gonna to try to grab it and move it over and now we can take the guitar and because we've nudged, we can nudge it right back. And then of course, take away your line. And there's a lot of text that will work. Uh, this one looks pretty good. Um, it's some text just doesn't work so you just try a different text. But you, and you could still manipulate you know, some of the words in here, if you wanted to, some of the letters, you'd have to go and break. It's still a text. So go to up to object and convert it to a curve. And then you could take your shape tool. If you wanted to, I think it looks good enough and just kind of like grab those two and, you know, move them around and, you know, do some different things. Uh, you know, I just kind of noticed maybe the, the R is a little bit close closer to the edge than the G is. Just take take the shape tool and you know be careful because you're gonna most likely mess it up if you if you go too far, but try to select some nodes and just move it in here late. Maybe even take away a few nodes. Uh, I think it really looks good without it, but it is and you could have made your you know your uh, contour a little bit bigger too and have it off that space a little bit more. Anyway, that's how I would do it. Hope that helped them and thank you for watching.